My name is Aaron Volpone, and I'm a CPE undergrad. I am one of the few students working under Dr. Sun for Senior Design 1 and 2. Before elaborating on my fiber optic sensor, I just want to give a bit of a preview of what CubeSat is to begin with. These are miniature satellites that start at 10 centimeter cube volumes. They're relatively low cost uh, to conventional satellites and benefit from very low power consumption. As indicated earlier, several projects are being worked on this year for CubeSat and plan to be finished by the end of next semester. So in short, the abstract is as follows. The fiber optic sensor is a competitor to conventional angular sensors, such as moving gyroscopes. Unlike gyros, however, fiber optic sensors boast higher reliability and precision. This is especially important in the field of astroengineering where reliability is a critical component to missions. Fly-by-wire is already a common application in aeronautics. As technology develops, fly-by optics is becoming a steady replacement to electrical wiring by permitting the ability to transmit high amounts of data over fiber. In the scope of this project, fiber optics can replace these other kinds of sensors with the benefit of being much more lightweight and low power. With respect to CubeSat operations, this is a critical component to the success of these small satellites. In brief, several components in the UNLV CubeSat will be driven by fiber optic. It is still not determined whether or not these will be used in tandem with other conventional sensors. For the scope of this fiber optic sensor, the sensor will be pertaining to the attitude determination and control uh, section as shown in the figure to the right. This angular sensor has two objectives. The first is to enable attitude adjustment with infrared sensing between neighboring UNLV CubeSats. As explained earlier, the first mock run of this capability will be done on the ground with a test platform. Secondly, as an objective, and the most plausible in the current state of the project, is to perform gyroscopic computations for self-angular correction on board the satellite that the sensor is mounted on. For this project, an ARM processor with high 16-bit resolution ADC channels was chosen. Not only is ADC precision good for accuracy of the sensor, but the Cortex-M4 also excels at low power computing in voltages as low as 3.3 volts to 1.62 volts. In ultra-low power modes, clock speed is lowered but amperage is significantly minimized, an important thing to consider with limited battery space and rechargeability in a CubeSat. Continuing on with parts, the laser of choice was a 1550 nanometer wavelength laser for angular grading use. This will be elaborated more in a bit. IR waves such as the 1550 nanometer length benefit from low attenuation in fiber optics, meaning that there is little reduction of signal quality at the end of the cable. The laser will operate on a low 1.2 volts, while power usage will remain around 2 milliwatts. In terms of CubeSat operation, every small amount of wattage adds up, so it's important to stay mindful about it. The photodiodes are specifically tuned 1550 nanometer type sensors that will receive light input from the laser and output low voltages. In order to read them properly, they may need to be voltage amplified so that the ADC channels in the mixed signal processor can adequately read them without noise. An explanation of how these items will be arranged follows. This is the proposed arrangement of items for the fiber optic sensor. The laser will be calibrated to aim at the normal of the grating mirror on the right. If there are angular differences from this normal, as in there is a change in motion, the laser will bounce off at an angle and different photodiodes will receive this light. The reverse bias photodiodes will transmit their voltages and using the ADC channels, these inputs will be computed with onboard software on the mixed signal processor. The idea once employed across two CubeSats is to have these IR lasers pointed out into open space. Due to the nature of light, Diffusion occurs, meaning that intensity of the beam signal becomes wider and weakened in intensity over time and distance. These beams will be picked up by both CubeSats to varying degrees. With the grading described earlier, these two CubeSats will conduct angular correction so that they may be both aligned with each other. This is possible when being able to see the angle of incident for the laser beam at a minimum.